Hello, welcome back to my channel, Portrait Artist Direct. So um, this is the second video in my icon series, and this is just me drawing uh, Carrie Fisher. So um, if you haven't watched part one, please do tune in to uh, part one of the um, episode and uh, you can catch up with uh, how I got to this point. But this is part two, so um, you can see I'm continuing with the shading, uh, basically this shadow that uh, comes down from her arm across her face and her neck. It needed a lot more working in to get it dark enough. You don't want to see too much of the, I mean, I don't mind, I quite like the pencil marks, but you do want it to, to look um, dark enough. So I've gone back in and then once I've uh, done that with the 2B mechanical pencil, I've gone in using the, um, the paper smudger and the tissue just to kind of make that darker. Now I'm adding just a couple of freckles onto the arm and a little bit of shadow around the wrist and then going back to working on the hair. Um, and it's, uh, it's uh, tricky. Funnily enough, actually, I've got the camera in the way. So this is one of the tricky bits here is it's quite difficult to get, a, get an idea, uh, to get a good angle on it. And also the light is very harsh uh, on, this, on, uh, on this section because it's very near to where the camera is. So, but anyway, just filling in, using the 2B um, Mozart mechanical pencil and uh, just working my way around the back of the hair and the shoulder and just getting things darker and darker each time I go over so it does take time and I try and put the pencil uh, in in roughly the way that the hair is going to be moving and here I did actually sort of go in and use a uh, 2B, yeah I know a 6B um, graphic pencil. Go over it with the eraser again uh, so don't, don't lose too much of the highlights um, and then going back around the back of the hair and just making some of this darker again and actually I'm going to work on this a little bit later as well but just trying to make the back of the hair look a little bit more 3D um, look a little bit flat to me and um, the way I'll probably frame this will be it might be up into the corner so that that flat edge against the back of the hair would, would, may well be framed uh, working on the teeth a little bit just adding a few darker little shadows in their little sections and just um, you know, really sort of getting close to the end of this picture now. So uh, adding in a little darker around the forearm, uh, there's a little bit of hair in there, and just trying to uh, make a couple of highlights on that to make that uh, stand out a little bit more. And here I'm just uh, doing a bit of slow-mo around the picture just to give you an idea of what it looks like so far. Um, it's not finished. There's more work to be done on the back of the hair and on the eye, and then just kind of evening the whole picture out. So. It, uh, it looks uh, complete, it looks like just one picture, not too many parts. So um, I come back in a minute and you'll see I start working on the eye and also darkening the pupils because they're too light. Uh, and also um, doing a little bit of extra work on the hair. So the, the way the picture's framed, um, it'll probably be butted up against the frame. I'm not 100% sure about that. So if I don't butt it up against the frame, I might come back and revisit the picture and, and um, finish off some more of the back of the hair. But here you can see, so I'm just going back over, touching up some of the darker pieces that, that um, just need finishing off. A little bit of shadowing on the cheeks, a little bit of highlights on the cheeks, just trying to blend it in. And also uh, here, I, at this point, I actually miss out uh, darkening the pupils, but I am going to come back and do that. So here at this point, this is where I thought I'd finish the picture. Um, so you can see basically where the hair is finished, the glasses, the eyes are the only thing that still need just uh, finishing off. But it gives you um, an idea, a flavour of what the picture looks like. And there you go, you can see the studio uh, with some of my pop art in the background and they are available on the website. So please have a look at those if you are interested, uh, do those custom orders. So here we are, this is just a slow-mo of the drawing, uh, the portrait, I hope you like it. I really appreciate it if you could hit the like button uh, and subscribe, it really will make a difference to me. It means that I can spend more time on these uh, portraits and I love doing them and I love showing them. So uh, please uh, support the channel, it really means a lot to me. But here you can see the, um, the portrait is fi finished, I'm really happy with it. Uh, at the minute we're struggling to get things framed but it will get framed uh, using an anti-reflective glass actually it's an acrylic in it and it uh, finishes off really nicely so i hope you've enjoyed this as uh, part two of the uh, my first icons drawing portrait and uh, please
hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you very much.